General Ben Parton is retired now, but he was one of the military's experts on explosives. Based on his experience, he did not believe that a mixture of fertilizer and fuel oil exploding in the street could have been responsible for the pulverized concrete at the Murrah building. General Parton calculated the pressure from McVeigh's bomb at various distances. He created this chart to show the pressures. McVeigh's truck bomb is at the bottom of this chart. The columns that supported this building are shown as solid rectangles. The red rectangles are the columns that collapsed. The collapsed columns are in the area shaded with red. One of the columns that was pulverized was so far from the bomb that the pressure would have been only 27 pounds per square inch. One explosion caused, because here's now what we are starting to learn about uh, the succession or what someone obviously hoped would be a succession of explosions. The first bomb that was in the federal building did go off. It did the damage that you see right there. The second explosive was found and diffused. The third explosive that was found, and they are working on right now as we speak, I understand, both the second and third explosives, if you can imagine this, were larger than the first. So try to imagine Boy. two or threefold happening mm -hmm. uh, what we've already seen there. It is just uh, incredible to think that there was that much heavy artillery that was somehow moved into the downtown Oklahoma City Federal Building. Two other explosive devices were found that were not detonated and they were larger than the first. I think he said another bomb. Another bomb, move back. Oh my God, another bomb. We uh, just saw, if you were watching there, there was a white pickup truck backing a trailer into the scene here. They're trying to move people out of the way so they can get it in. It appears to be the Oklahoma County Bomb Squad. Uh, it's their bomb disposal unit, essentially, is what it is. And it is what they would use to, if, if the report that we gave you just a few moments ago turns out to be correct, that they have found a second explosive device of some kind inside this building. They'll back that trailer down there, and the uh, bomb squad folks will go in. And they will use that, uh, that trailer. You see the, the bucket on the back there, sort of, this is how they would transport the explosive device away from this populated area to try to do something with it. Uh, the Justice Department is reporting that a second explosive device has been found in the AP Murrah uh, building in downtown Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike, you're still with us, aren't you? Yes, I am. And I, and I might tell you, in addition to that, that in fact, what we were told at the scene a few minutes ago was that, in fact, two different explosive devices were found in addition to the one that went off. So a total of three. A total saying. of three. Now confirmed uh, through federal authorities that a second bomb has been found inside that federal building in Oklahoma City. It was an explosion at 9 o'clock this morning that did that damage you're looking at right there, blowing off the entire north face of that building. Again, you're looking at the north face there, a second bomb was found on the east side of that building. A bomb squad is on the scene. That second bomb has not exploded. We don't know quite the status yet if they've managed to defuse it, but it has been confirmed that a second bomb was found on the east the side. The I have is that one device was, uh, was uh, deactivated. Apparently there's another device, and obviously whatever did the damage to the Murrah building was a tremendous, uh, very sophisticated explosive device. So President Clinton just called Frank uh, Keating, Governor Frank Keating, and he says that three FBI anti-terrorist teams are en route to Oklahoma City. Right now they are saying that this is the work of a sophisticated group. This is a very uh, sophisticated uh, device and um, it has to have been done by an explosives expert, um, obviously with this type of explosion. The medical teams downtown are unable to get into the wreckage to retrieve more of the injured because of the presence of other uh, bombs in the area. Well, I just took a look down the street uh, at the Morrow building again. I see another bomb truck going, so apparently they're going to try to get out that third bomb that's been talked about. Still a lot of activity around the Morrow building. Uh, security concerns that another one still might go off. Fortunately, it didn't because the second device that they found, we understand, was even more powerful than the first. They then found a third device, and you can see the look on this woman's face at the fear that she might have to go through the same thing again. They then found a third device, which was also larger than the first. Uh, hard to feel lucky at this point, but certainly through uh, some good work by some munitions experts and the uh, explosive sniffing dogs, further tragedy has almost certainly been averted here. Uh, but it was a great stroke of luck that we actually have got diffused bombs. It's through the bomb material 
that we will be able to track down uh, who committed this atrocity.